Big welcome everybody to our 12 o'clock live. And if you don't know at this stage, this week is Irish Flower Week and we're using the hashtag Irish Flower Week 2022. So I'd really appreciate when you're introducing yourself, let us know where you're watching in from, what part of the world you're watching from. We obviously need to know the weather forecast as well, but please use the hashtag Irish Flower Week 2022. For anybody that doesn't know what hashtag is, it's the two lines going that direction and the two lines, you know, going across. And maybe one of our secretaries that's watching there might actually put the hashtag in the comments and then it'll be easy enough for people to share. If you know anybody that's maybe interested in flowers, why don't you tag their name and then they get a notification maybe to pop over and look at us. And then also if you are a member of maybe a flower club, why don't you share this video to your flower club and again let's get the world out, let the, let's get the word out there. So in conjunction with the flower farmers of Ireland, now a lot of people don't realise that we have flower farmers in Ireland. To be honest, I didn't realise how big it was. And they basically exist to promote the work of the commercial cut flower farmers and foliage growers at all levels. So small, medium or large here in Ireland. They advise their members, they offer support on the cultivation, marketing and sales and also opportunities. Now their belief is that flowers should be grown sustainable, you know, I mean, save the planet, respect the planet, you know, that way, and obviously respect to the environment. So they've asked us, like we've had two amazing flower farmers contact us and offer some of their produce for us to demonstrate here this week during Irish Flower Week. So a huge big shout out to Grania from Raw Cut Flowers and Anna from Big Sky Flowers. And if you have any of the flowers that I'm using today and you have any questions about them, I want you to pop over to Grania and Anna. And again, maybe some of our girls that are watching, any chance of you tagging them. So tag Raw Cut Flowers and also big sky flowers so they asked us any chance Jeanette do things foam free which you're asking you will receive you know here at the flower school and every day this week we have done a demonstration class free for the public here and again we have kept it foam free one thing we get asked quite a lot about is working with moss and chicken wire. So I've actually done a separate tutorial. Would have taken too long here today, plus it's quite messy and dirty, okay? But I actually have a separate tutorial on how to make your own moss blocks. And the great thing about these moss blocks is they're reusable, but also how to make your own moss cylinders. So these are all in chicken wire, do you know what I mean? And they can all be reused again. So I bet you're all dying to know how did I make them. So what I'm after doing is I've done a step-by-step -step tutorial and I've posted it over on YouTube, okay? We have our own YouTube channel. So again, maybe somebody might tag us for YouTube. So basically find YouTube, Search for Kay's Flower School, and again, you'll find a video on how to make your own moss blocks. They're actually really easy to make, by the way. Now, with these blocks, as I said, they're reusable. Do you know that way you can let them dry out, then you can soak them again, and you probably get about three or four goes out of them. And then what you're going to do is get rid of the moss, but the chicken wire can be reused again, and just basically replace it with new moss. So again, that's all explained in the video. Now for making a table centre, which you want to make today, you need something to hold the moisture and stop the tablecloth getting filthy. Now I'm going to use a reusable plastic container, like say a spray tray, but if you're doing it for an event or a wedding or you know an occasion where you want it to last longer, I would recommend using the double spray tray because that way I can hold more moisture. Now remember, I'm going to be filthy here, thank God I'm wearing the black today. Moss is a natural sponge, so it naturally absorbs the water up. Now what I'm going to do is to secure our moss block onto our tray, I'm just going to use a little bit of the hand tie twine. So just using a bit of twine, tying a knot here, double knot, and I'm going to cut off the ends. Now if anybody has any questions, I bet there's loads of questions coming in. Post them all in the comments below, do you know that way? And what we'll do is later on is I'll go back through all the comments and I'll respond to everyone. Now, hopefully we have a couple of people watching us. Is there anybody watching, dear? There's a few talking? people watching, yeah. A few people, watching. Few people okay. watching us. They're actually all very much intrigued by this. Brilliant. So again, like, you know what I mean? A big shout out to Flower Farmers of Ireland. And I would love afterwards if you popped over and followed their page. Let them know the case Flower School sent you over. 
pop over to Grotko flowers and pop over to Big Sky flowers, you know that way. And again, you let them know case flower skills sent them over. So you can see the way that's nice and secure in there. It's easy then to snip off your twine and let your uh, moss block dry out. These moss blocks can also be tied onto containers like um, archways or moon gates or, you know, suspended arrangements, you know the way. And you will find like the moss is better for holding the moisture than the agro wool. So again, if anybody's interested in agro wool, I do have a blog and again, some demonstrations using agro wool, both on our YouTube channel, but also on our website, flareschoolireland.com. And obviously, if anybody's interested in learning how to do flare arranging or how to do floristry professionally, professionally, and um, obviously drop us an email info at flareschoolireland.com. And actually, there is a question. There's two questions Go there. On. They're asking when is our next module one starting? So our next module one is starting on the 14th of September. Okay, so it's a it's a month course. So it's a month long it is. Uh, we supply all your flares and materials. But obviously we get a lot of like say overseas students. So what we do for the overseas students is we will supply you with a list of the flares that you will need. And then, by the way, if you find any difficulty getting it in, you use your little kebab stick there. So you're just making a hole and then you're able to get it in. So we supply you with a list of the flares and the materials that you will need. And then we give you a discount, you know, that way. Now, don't worry about wholesalers and that. We organise that all as part of the course, you know, that way. So we set you up with accounts. You can buy your material direct and from Holland. We organise all that part for you, you know what I mean? So you needn't worry. Sometimes kind of people are nervous, kind of wondering, like, how are they going to get the materials? Now, as far as the kit, we supply all the Sunday materials. So they would be all like, you know what I mean, your oasis or your ribbon, your wires, your ribbon, your containers, your scissors, your knife. What else do we supply, Deirdre? Do you know that way? Um, gosh. Oh, pins, like pins. basically everything that you need, your stem strippers, you know that way? We supply everything Flare you food. Need. The only thing that you have to supply yourself is buckets for storing the flowers in. And we normally suggest go up to the likes of Tesco's or Aldi or Lidl. I think at this stage the managers know what's going to do. Yeah, so it has case flowers, we've got a course starting. And they, um, they supply them with the... Um, with the buckets for free, do you know that way? So all you have to do is say case flare school sent you. Now, so here I am, you can see that I'm using the tansy foliage. So again, this was from um, Grognac Rock of Flares and also Anna at Big Cuff Flares. So if anybody is interested in buying any of this material, contact them direct. But obviously there's flare growers all over Ireland and I obviously don't know all their names and all their contacts, but I, I, I do have a list of them. So what we've done is, do you remember the free program we gave you all a couple of weeks ago, right? It was the program on the treatment and the conditioning of flowers. You all remember you signed up for it and you got six months access to it. Okay, some people are probably saying they didn't get it, are they? Yeah, there's people right. saying Don't what? worry, <laughs> did I miss out on something? So we have uh, developed a program, an online program, that's available for free, okay, to obviously any of our followers that are watching. This, by the way, is the Apple Mint, you know that way, which is a fabulous foliage. And um, what you can do is you can sign up to it. It's easy enough. What I'll do is get Sinead to put the link in the comments below. Or if you don't see the link, just put a message like asking Sinead for the link, okay? Sinead is our sister in Scotland. She looks after all the kind of social media responses, you know, that way. So if you're ever looking for something, just tag Sinead in it. She'll look after you, she will. And she'll get the link, okay? So a lot of you, anyways, as I said, in the past, you did sign up to that link, okay? And you have access to our free course. And there's over 60 different tutorials on the treatment and the conditioning of flowers, okay? Different flowers and obviously different foliages. Well, what we've done is we've now added um, an itemized list of all the flower growers in Ireland who supply flowers commercially and on small No, it's all commercial. All commercial, all commercial ones, yeah. Okay. But if you did contact the Flower Farmers of Ireland, if you're looking just to buy flowers for your own use, if you contact the Flower Farmers of Ireland, they will get, put you in contact with somebody local to you. Okay, so I think a little bit of greenery there just to start off. Now, as you can see, if I was doing this in um, floral foam, I'd probably have it done a lot quicker. It is obviously slower working with the moss, you know, that way. But again, isn't it nice to do something, you know what I mean, that is kind of, you know, it's good for the environment. Somebody wants to know, Jeanette, could you do this for a funeral? 
yeah you could do this for a funeral do you know that way absolutely this would work out really well for a funeral it would yeah for going on a grave and again if it was a family member's grave you know that way it'd be brilliant because you could go back, go back up, up and take back off take yeah it back off and you would be able to reuse it again and um, you could have your own moss grown on the grave i'd say after a while if you absolutely really yeah it. yeah i actually planted moss in my garden <laughs> i did i bought moss plants to plant it hasn't really taken off yet but and there's probably people out there spending a fortune trying to get, trying rid, to get of rid of it so this is it that from an environment point of view <laughs> but um, um like it's it's illegal to rob moss you know that you know not that we'd ever rob moss no you know no way, we it got this illegal, you know what i mean you do need a license to actually gather moss you know that way even if it is grown on the mountains or up in um glendalock not that i know that grows in glendalock you know that way but you know with certain parts around you know what i mean that you'll be able to get it so you can see the way i'm just sticking in the canterbury bell these are fabulous and you know i have these in a couple of days and um, because Ronya and um, the lovely ladies from Graw Flowers and Anna Bl and Big Sky Blooms, they dropped these into me or oh, like three or four days ago, and you can see they're holding up. Really, and you know really that well. was actually somebody commented on an earlier tutorial for Irish Flower Week, saying there are florists and they'd never buy Irish flowers because oh, they only last twenty four hours. Bitch. But just she says it only lasts 24 hours no, and I'm like these are in three true. or four that days is not true De yeah definitely not true and um, yes maybe with some of the imported flowers they're using a lot of chemicals you know that way so obviously you'll get you know what I mean it's like your flowers. imported fruit like it just doesn't yeah. go, go bad but you ever have tomatoes and you'd have them for weeks nearly do you know yeah. that sort of way like that's not natural if you think about it you know but the thing is then when you eat them tomatoes you look brilliant because you're after putting all that Botox and <laughs> whatever else that they put into it to make the stuff last longer. But think about it, like apples, you know, that way. Like when do apples grow on a tree? Autumn? September? Yeah, probably September, August. October. Some yeah, yeah. Correct me. Well, how come we can get apples in January <laughs> and March and all the rest? You know what I mean? So, yes, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, to make flowers last longer, they do use chemicals. You know what I mean? But with the Irish-grown flowers, there's no chemicals being used at all. And you know what I would have found as well? It's the scent of the flowers. is just amazing. Like, you don't get that same scent of a lot of the imported flowers. You know that way? I think they're probably so highly conditioned and treated. You know that way? You're definitely not going to get as They're hybrids. They're probably... You know, a bit like, a bit like ourselves, a bit like ourselves, a bit yeah, like yeah. Ourselves. Hi, <laughs> but, um, oh, there was a question there. Hang on a second, now. I'm just going to try. Oh, yeah, somebody says, So, what can you do in November when none of these flowers are available? Well, that's where I suppose you're obviously going for the commercial flowers, but again, I wouldn't be well up on it, you know, that way because I'm not because well some up of them do them. grow them in tunnels, yeah. So, the best thing to do is if you contact the growers. Like, I know the lady, um, what's the lady, dear, that you devoted? Um, Maria in, I think it's Bell Meadow Flowers. So she sends out an email every Sunday with what she happens to have available for that week. You know what I mean? And then you can order your flowers and then she gets them delivered to you. So, like, I'm sure, like, they don't just, you know what I mean, take the winter off. You know, that way. <laughs> I'm sure they, they work as well like the rest of us and they'd have flowers available. So they'd be different. Obviously, you wouldn't get these flowers. But, you know, it's the same with the Dutch flowers. There's certain flowers you can't get. Like, at the moment, like, we're finding it very hard to get good wax flower, really. That's it, yeah. Because wax flower is out of season, do you know what I mean? So it could be exactly the same as the Dutch flowers, <coughs> you know, that way. Flowers are in season and out of season. So you can see the way I'm just kind of, like, turning the arrangement around, randomly kind of, like, adding them in. Like, you're not going to get a structured arrangement as an arrangement, do you know what I mean? As you would, would get with your normal kind of... Um, Flora foam. Flora foam, do you know that way? But you know what I mean, for somebody that likes that kind of like more wild kind of garden effect, this is probably ideal for you. Now, flowers that you could use maybe instead of the um, Canterbury Bells would be maybe the likes of Delphinium, like they would Delphinium be Delphinium and Gladys. Again, the Gladiolus, they would be coming into season. Um, they didn't send any Gladys out, so I'm presuming they obviously didn't have any at the moment. You know that way? Yeah. August is the month for Gladys. I know we're into July now, do you know that way? But it's only still early, early July. Now again, for anybody that has just joined us, this week is Irish Flower Week. So again, we're using the hashtag Irish Flower Week 2022. We would really appreciate if you kind of shared and you also used the tag. So I've used up all our Canterbury Bells there at that stage. Oh, there's one more there. So now I'm going to move on to the Erignum. 
or the sea holly. So now I'm going to add some of that in and out between it. This slide will probably go on a little bit longer than our normal lives, Deirdre. Yeah, you know, true. Because it is, like I know myself, I'm a lot slower doing this sort of display than what I would be if I was working in floral foam. I have to say that the erignum is top quality, isn't it? Top quality. Yeah, absolutely. it really is. Like the amount of heads and stuff that's on it in comparison to the commercial ones is really, really good. Actually, the imported ones, I should say. Yeah. Um, is really, really good. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, somebody says that they, they were looking at the module two um, syllabus and do you have to do module one before you do module two? Yeah, because our courses are professional courses, if you jump onto module two without doing module one, the only way I could describe it, imagine going for swimming lessons, okay? And you skipped the beginner's class and you just basically jumped in the deep end of the swimming pool with no armbands and you had no clue how to float hold your breath or kick your legs I tell you there'll be a lifeguard jumping in after you and that's what happens on module two when people skip module one I become that lifeguard and I end up having to try and teach them do you know what I mean too much and they don't get as much out of the course and they end up holding back everybody else and you know that way to be honest what has happened is they have most people that have done it end up having to go back, go back and they do module one yeah so I don't recommend and even this. recently we had somebody who had done the level one in the UK and she went on and she done module two, three and four and then went back and done module one. Yeah, but you see, people think when they do level one city and gills, it is not at all like, you know what I mean? Our level one would be part of City and Gills level one, level two, and level three. Do you know that sort yeah. of way? Like, we cover a lot, lot more. Like, the, with the City and Gills syllabus, and like, it's easy enough to print it off. Do you know what I mean? Just Google it. And then look at our syllabus, because obviously we're very black and white about exactly what we cover on each module. I'm using some of their limonium, their status, and again, wonderful quality stuff. Do you know that way? And again, that girl has said the stuff only lasts a few days. Like, yeah, she obviously before. hasn't bought it. Hasn't, definitely hasn't bought it from Grocco Flares anyway. No. And I'm not, I, I would say they didn't give us any, well, I would hope a little bit of special priority. <laughs> but you know, no, seriously, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. They were just buckets of flowers the same as what they would send out to everybody else. You might find with the limonium is to kind of like peel back, you know, the fleshy part that's on the stem. And it'll just make it easier to kind of insert to them kind of like through it. So you can see I'm kind of focusing on kind of the, the center, middle of the area. Um, especially with the material or flowers that I have just a little of, you know what I mean? Because that is the most important part of the arrangement. I just kind of had hold it up there just to give you yeah, kind of an idea. It's it shifted a little bit there just where the hand tie twine was holding it. Look at the little um, daisy now, isn't it beautiful? It's like the kind of the September flower. It is actually, isn't it? Or she wants to know, have we any courses running in the summertime? No, during July and August, we don't actually have any commercial courses running. We're normally like, um, we should nearly be really closed this week, shouldn't we? We should here? actually, yeah. yeah. We're a bit like the schools. So you know the way all your kids got their school holidays last week, you know that way? Well, here in Case Blair School, we're all getting our holidays this coming Friday. So we will be finished. Now, you will still be answering emails, okay? And we'll still be answering like any phone inquiries. You can ring us at... 01 for Dublin 4530068. So you'll still be able to um, contact us. Anybody that's ringing from overseas, I'll put the number on the screen. Put yeah, the number on the screen there 00353 01 for Dublin and 4530068. What? 8649. Oh, God, Matthew, give me home phone number there. <laughs> Don't, Don't ring that first number. Ignore what I just said and Deirdre will put it on the screen or Sinead will there for us. Thanks a million. Look at the fox glove. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. So I'm kind of going for the Wexford colours with this. Design. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah. The yellow and the purples or the golds and the purples kind of together. So there wasn't much yellow. Do you know that way? She probably didn't think I liked yellow because everybody knows I love pinks and purples. And she sent out a fabulous selection of them sort of shades. So. Um, we actually have lovely peonies there. We might maybe do another arrangement for tomorrow, maybe, in peonies. Yeah, so again, um, I know a lot of people were asking me about wedding bouquets. Mm. So a couple of really nice ideas like using, wedding, um, using the peonies in the wedding bouquets. And again, if there's something that you'd like me to demonstrate, you know that way, I can't always promise, but I'll absolutely do the best I can. Just comment below what you would like. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's you know, fabulous, that's isn't it? Way. 
beautiful. So there's amazing textures in this arrangement. And you know what I mean? I think the yellow is definitely giving a lift. It's nice and wild. All we would need now is a few bumblebees there. To That's it, in absolutely, yes. Um, I'm sure they'd love it. Do you remember your man in Valley Mad Farm and um, the, was they imported the bees or what did they They imported the, whatever brought the Irish bees to, whatever they put on the, was it they imported the eggs? Or something I can't remember now. Sperm, to be honest. Was it bee sperm? Bee sperm. <laughs> <laughs> anybody know? Anybody know what it is? There was something anyway that they imported for the for the bees. Anyway, for the Irish bees, you know that way. I suppose um, she a little bit of fart and blood. She don't know what the other is. is absolutely, that absolutely. That, yeah. I love this yellow um, oh, with the little tops on it. Yeah. And you know these are all nice kind of like strong stems. You know that way. And do you know what I love about the um, the Irish flowers is the bent stems, yes. you know, the, the crooked stems, where normally when you're buying in the imported kind of Dutch flowers, everything is very straight, very even, very perfect, you know, that way, where they probably would reject something that's bent and crooked because it wouldn't be kind of like perfection. A bit like the bent bananas. But I kind of find with the Irish grown flowers, it's a little bit like what you see is what you get. Like, that's just amazing it is. And I have to say, like, these stems, you can see, like, they're going in. It's actually getting easier. Maybe I'm getting better at it. Too, you maybe right? are, yeah. Maybe I'm getting better at it. But they're going in just that little bit easier, you know. Um, sometimes the skinnier stems, once they're strong, you know, that way they go in. So even these ones with little seed heads on them, like, I'm using them. I just say I need a little fox glove here. So I'm going to bring that down to the oxidant i love them aren't they just beautiful and she sent them out in a fabulous pink as well can't remember what we used it in so i just have another fox glove here I'm kind of finding them kind of buried underneath there so i'm just going to again i kind of want that like wild kind of garden effect because that's what really suits the really the Jeanette, susan is asking and um, how in comparison to floral foam what do you think the lasting the flower is lasting i think the flowers will last if they're kept watered, but with the moss, you will have to water it every day. Where with floral foam, it'll naturally kind of keep wet all the time. Where definitely with the moss, the water will run down. So even though they say moss is a natural sponge, you know what I mean? And it is, you know the way, and it will hold the moisture, but it won't be soaking wet. And that's why you need to make sure that the container that you're using will hold the water. And that's why originally where I had it that it fit into the smaller spray tray, I would prefer to use the larger spray tray because it meant I had more of a well for holding water. And when they're watering, like don't just kind of pour the water into the container. Pour the water very slowly over the moss block. Slowly so most of the water absorbs down into the block. And then just watch that the tray itself, you know, the container that's holding the water, make sure that that's full of water. And the other thing you could do is keep it misted and sprayed. But obviously with flowers, it depends on how warm the house is as well. True. You know, yeah. like, like we had a class on there last week and like some people's germany last eight or nine days and other people's only last five or six days. Like they should last six days. But I'd say again, if we have warm weather, you know, that way, or somebody has the heat on, so you know my house, Deirdre. Yeah. It's always hot, you know, that way. So I'm just taking a few of these little kind of like little chrysanthemums kind of like in through the They're like a little santini chrysanthemum, aren't they? Yeah. chrysanthemum, exactly. And again, just giving us a beautiful texture, you know. Like I've, I've all different types of selections of flowers here, to be honest. Um, I have a little bit of sweet pea as well. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't Absolutely it? Yeah. beautiful. So again, I have to say the scent of the sweet pea, oh, like the Irish one is. We, we had some white sweet pea and um, I'm going to use that in an all white wedding bouquet one of the days, like a dancing bouquet. So again, which would be very, very popular. Do you know the way? So look at this, the love and the mist. Oh, like wow. jealous, okay, they're called. Like I remember using these as a dried flower, do you know that way? Which I'm sure you can still buy it in as a dried flower. But um, again, for going, because this, this, the name on them is beautiful, do you know that way? So to use them like in your wedding bouquets, and it's quite a strong stem. And of course, the minute I say that, that's the one that won't go in for me. But it is quite a strong stem, and um, the majority of them are going in there absolutely no problem. So I have the little kebab stick handy to you, you know, that way you've seen me ever so often. I have to kind of take up the little kebab stick, you know, that way to just make that little hole. David just is just joining in late there, and he wants to know how do you make the 
the last, last brick. Okay. <laughs> so what you have to do, David, because it took, and I knew this class was going to take a little bit longer than normal because of, obviously it's a moss block. It's not um, a block of floral foam. So I've made a separate video of making your own environmentally friendly, like moss block, but also a moss cylinder. And I posted it up on YouTube. So maybe somebody might post our YouTube link there. Or the handiest thing, David, is go and look for it, right? So just search up YouTube and then search Case Flower School and um, you'll find us. And there is a list on our YouTube channel, which is a foam free list. So all the arrangements that we've done over this week um, for Irish Flower Week, but also any other arrangements that we have done that are foam free on our YouTube channel are all in that list. So um, it just makes it easier if it's that's what you're interested in is the foam free, go to that list and you'll find them all there. And obviously uh, we're looking for people to share and to get the word out there about, you know, I mean, Irish Flower Week. So use the hashtag Irish Flower Week. If you know somebody who's interested in growing flowers, because again, somebody might be growing their own flowers at home, we'd really appreciate if you tagged them. If you're in a flower club, you know that way, or again, a foam free flower club, like feel free to share any of our videos. We'd really, really appreciate it. And if you could obviously tag um, the flower farmers of ireland they would really appreciate it pop over and follow their page again and you know jeanette what happens with the on the flower farmers of ireland page i think it's every week i'm not sure if it's every week or every two weeks but a different flower farmer takes over control of the page all right and they post all about them their hints and their tips and i actually think Is it last it like twitter mm, but i think last week it was the vintage flower company um, she's over in County Loud, I think it is, or Lusk, around that area. She was managing the page last week. Um, I'm not sure who's managing it this week for Flower Week, but um, yeah, so idea. every week there's a different flower farmer manages their Instagram and their Facebook page. So, um, so you're getting different content all the time and they're very open if you are a grower of flowers, even just for the love of gardening and growing, they're very good at answering questions or helping you out. I don't know what this flower is here, dear. Did you know? No, I don't know. There was that many different varieties, um, and I, like I was asking Anna about the varieties, and she did a little video for me. And then she said, she does say that they're Irish flowers. And I said, you don't know our followers. I says, they'll be looking for all the varieties. So then she said, just send them over to her. So again, her page is tagged. So look for Grania's page, Grawco Flowers. Look for Anne's page, Anna's page, Big Sky Flowers. Pop over, take screenshots, you know the way, or share this video yourself. And then you can show her a picture of the flower that you're not too sure about. And she'll be able to advise you. But wouldn't said, it be great, Jeanette, that Irish Flower Week became as big as British Flower Week? Yeah, you know, and like, that's the thing, you know that way. And of course, typically in Ireland, there's no support. They're probably not getting any financial support or any grants, like probably what they are getting in the yeah. UK. Now, I don't know about that. I'm just kind of guessing, you know that way. So um, again, it will be brilliant, you know that way. And I can't believe, like, you know what I mean, when we started doing this, like, you know, this week promoting it, the amount of people that are getting in contact and it makes an, oh my God, like, thanks a million for sharing this. Can't believe, you know that way. They didn't know that they but could find, like yeah. A lot of them didn't realise, you know, that way, how many suppliers are actually out there, how many Irish growers are actually out there. And again, if you are watching and you're an Irish grower, tag your page below. Yeah, we'd absolutely um, love it. Peep, and then all of our followers can go over. And just put your area. So if you're in Dublin or if you're in Kerry or if you're in Cork or... And even if you're not part of the Irish flower Look farmers... Oh dear. my God, it's amazing. I'm going to kind of use this but, um, as a bit of a filler here and there. But yeah, if you're not even if you're not a member of the Irish flower farmers, you can still tag away. As long as you're growing flowers and you're selling them, tag away below or if you know a flower farmer that's selling flowers uh, like at the end of the day our foliage the Irish green guys he's a flower farmer yeah, in Kerry absolutely. on a very big scale but um he he sells Irish grown foliage yeah and should we buy a lot of stuff from and uh, Wicklow Foliage Farm and Wicklow farm. Foliage Farm as well yes Stuart as well and Ursula there they're again Irish and grown the kids, foliage and the kids are all roped in on it so this just using it. a little bit of this ami just around the bottom, do you know that way? That if it was like on the table, that they just kind of like naturally. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have to say, it looks amazing. Looks really, and, um, really nice. Like I got a little bit faster as I went along. Do you know that way? But it is obviously a much slower process using the moss block. You know that way instead of the. Um, the and obviously the time. How long do you think it took you for to make that moss block? Oh, the moss block. 
10 minutes, oh, not even 10 minutes. Yeah, probably. Watch the little video on yeah. YouTube, Deirdre. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You subscribe to our YouTube channel. Oh, okay, right, it's um, a good idea. Six or seven minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It probably took me longer to walk upstairs and get the, the bag of moss. Yeah, get the bag of moss. And then obviously you have to pick the moss. And pick the moss. But no, we bought that. Yeah. But we didn't, we didn't pick that moss. It's illegal to pick moss, Deirdre. You need a license. That's <laughs> true, you're dead right. <laughs> and actually that's the flower farmers, if you have moss for sale, because it is actually very difficult at it's the moment to get moss. very difficult to get moss, it is. I think there's plenty. Yeah, I think there's day. loads in it. It's so absolutely we do, gorgeous. I'll look this one more there. So we're just going to put this in, just one for good luck. That'll probably be the one that won't go in. I went in handy enough, right? So we have a quick clean up down into the magic bin. Do you know that way? We place this down on the table just so that they can see it. Assume that didn't fall out, so that was just loose on the table there. There we go, we get that down there. We move this, and there's another one we found. There we go, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And then just, if you turn it the other direction for me. This way here? Like, like, yeah, yeah, wide ways, yeah. Yeah. There we go. So there is, as somebody said, it could be used as a grave arrangement. You could make it one-sided. It could be used as an altar arrangement. It could be used um, as a table centre, down the centre of the table. You like a hall arrangement, um, again, on top of a baptismal font. Um, on a unity candle. Desk. Unity candle arrangement, very, very versatile, you know that way. A mountain of selections of different types of flowers. But as I said, we were spoiled for choice, you know that way. And I wanted to use everything. And you could be more economical and use a lot more foliage in it. Like, you know, if you went back to the beginning, you can see I use very little foliage. It's all basically flowers. So the whole idea of this arrangement, so along with the Flower Farmers of Ireland and this being Irish Flower Week 2022, and along with the amazing Flower Farmers, Grawco Flowers and Big Sky Flowers who supplied all of the flowers. And we wanted to show you how you can do sustainable, environmentally friendly arrangements, protecting the planet. And that arrangement there is made in, not this one, it's made in a moss block. So again, to save time today, because I knew that was going to take a little bit longer, I have a step-by-step -step tutorial on our YouTube channel showing you the mechanics of making up your own moss blocks, which are basically reusable, so you can use them over and over again. And again, if you've missed the beginning of this tutorial, you can go back to the beginning. Huge thanks for everybody joining us. A massive thanks to everybody that is sharing our videos all week. We really, really appreciate it. As I said, it's great that when you search the hashtag, you know what I mean? That we're you're seeing everybody, that we're seeing yeah. It, you know that way? And again, please pop over and follow Flower Farmers of Ireland, follow Grocco Flowers, follow uh, Big Sky Flowers, follow Case Flower Schools, you know that way? And subscribe to our YouTube channel, Case Flower School. So join us tomorrow for another free demonstration class at 12 o'clock. And remember, after Irish Flower, Flower Week, you will be able to watch us every Wednesday at 12 o'clock. We always have a free flower arrangement or a free, a free flower demonstration. Best of luck, everyone. My name is Jeanette, and with Deirdre behind camera, Sinead over in Scotland, huge thanks from us all here at Case Flower School.